Alright, here is the discussion for this video. When we are given this nested square root, and now here we have the 3 minus 2 square root 2 instead of that big square root, right? This right here can actually be simplified into one of these. And you see that there's no more big square roots. And um, because we have these answer choices, the question is, can we just pick an answer choice right here and then just maybe square it and see if we can get it inside? If so, that will be done. Can we do that? Well, have a look. I'm just going to check with A. So again, this is just my check. I don't know. I'm just selecting that first. So the goal is I'm going to square that. So we have parentheses 1 minus square root of 2 square. And we can just multiply this out. And perhaps I'll just show you guys all the steps. Uh, 1 minus square root of 2 times 1 minus square root of 2. And you see this is going to be 1 times 1, which is 1. And then this times this is negative square root of 2. And this times that is another negative square root of 2. Together, we get negative 2 square root of 2. And lastly, this times this is positive. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. And you see that this and that together is just 3 minus 2 square root of 2. We are done. Because you see, the output of the square root is this. Meaning that... Well done. And based on this, we are done. Because when we are talking about the square root of something, we are trying to see if we square the answer, meaning that multiply by itself, do we end up with the inside? And we did end up with the inside. So that means this is the correct answer. No, 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 no. In fact, this is not correct. And the reason is because this right here is negative. When we have 1 minus square root of 2, square root of 2 is about 1.414. 1 minus 1.41 for each, this is negative. The output of the square root cannot be negative. So I will not recommend you guys to just square the options. Sometimes it might be wrong like this. So the way that we're going to do it is like how I did it on my main channel. And if you want to see the detailed version, you can just check out my other video for that. So we look at the square root and we are going to break down the three into what though? Well, the key is we have this square root of 2 right here, right? So I want to break this down as 1 plus 2. And the 2 I'm going to do is square root of 2, square. So this is 2, yeah? And then I'm going to add 1 to it. This is 2 plus 1, which is a 3. Are we okay? Yeah, we should because this is just equal to 3. And then in the middle, I'm going to write this as minus 2 times square root of 2 times 1. Okay? And of course, you know 1 is the same as what? 1 is the same as 1 squared. And perhaps make it fancier, let's put this in a parentheses and square that. Aha! In fact, the inside is actually a perfect square. And that's going to be this minus that square. So we have parentheses, square root of 2 minus 1, and then the whole thing square. Yeah. And you see, now we can cancel this and that. And when we cancel out the square root and also the square, remember to put the absolute value. So then we have the square root of 2 minus 1, like this. Yeah, because the output is always going to be positive after we have that square root. And you see, that's the reason why I put down the square root of 2 square first on purpose, because square root of 2 minus 1, this, for this water here, is positive. So this right here is just square root of 2 minus 1. So the answer for this right here is B. All right. So do not square both sides. Sometimes we might not end up correct. And it's actually dangerous when we square both sides of an equation because maybe we end up with like extra. Maybe we'll end up with extra. Maybe we'll end up with extraneous. There we go. Extraneous solutions. Fake answers in another word. So hopefully this helps, and if you guys want to see more algebra multiple choice questions, check out my playlist over there.